Hey, we're Bad Flower, and these are our show stories. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say because there was one Bad Flower show, or maybe two, a handful before we had Anthony playing drums. So I'm gonna consider the first one, the first one Anthony played with us, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, the Vu in Santa Clarita. It was a bar that probably holds like 70 people max, I would imagine, mm. maybe even smaller, and uh, and it was a blast. Anthony had a mustache for absolutely no reason yeah when i met you guys i had a, a full beard and then for whatever reason before that show i just shaved it into like a porn star mustache without telling anyone just showed up they barely knew me weren't you weren't you testing us yeah i was yeah. testing them I was he like, was literally trolling us he was like if if they can if they can handle this this mustache then it's meant to be yeah and we didn't question it we thought he was being totally serious we we're just like that's just what he likes He's just into this big fat Mustache. From what I heard, and I could be wrong, our old manager told one of you guys, "New drummer's great, but he's yeah, got to lose, gotta the, mustache. lose the stash." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I, I'm gonna say I was most nervous for uh, the Late Late Show, and like when, when we did James yeah. Corden. Well, we had like to, absolutely we terrified. Had to alter the song. I agree with that. Yeah, we had to lot. alter this. We had to make the song shorter, which we had no experience doing. Like in the past, we were so used to playing it one way. Also, we weren't even that used to playing it because it was new. Right. We still were kind of shaky on it. And also, there was like hours and hours and hours of lead up time. Mm-hmm. Like we played that night, but we had to get there at like six a.m. set up, and so it's just like sitting, sitting, waiting, like all all of those nerves. Just like I don't know, it was awful for me. Yeah. And then yeah. when it was go time, it's like, go. And you walk through a thing and they powder your face real quick and they're pushing you through a deal and you're like, oh my God. And they're like, yeah, when the red light happens, you'll hear the audience and you play. You're on TV. And don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, that was terrifying. But so much fun. I think, I think, the, I think the L. Ray, when we played L.A., the L. Ray show was proud for me. One. The first one? The first one, yeah. Yeah, it's just se- a big hometown show. Selling out the L. Ray. I, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you because we struggled a lot in L. A. to get anybody to come to our shows. It was all like friends, um, and then we started having some success around the country. But we were always nervous to go back to L. A. because we didn't know it was going to happen. Yeah, selling out that first L. Ray, L. Ray show was a big moment. Agreed. And and having people that we didn't know in the audience, like it was all of our friends. But then all of our friends and family members got to see. <laughs> Where you know how far yeah. we'd come, and, and yeah, that was cool. I can think of one. But I, I don't I, know if Al I, wants to, me to I bring def- it up. I cracked my head <laughs> open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring I it cracked, up. Bring I, it up. I cracked my head open in, in Asbury. There's two That's stories. Right. There are two right. stories, and they're both Alex. Yeah. They're both his fault. I, uh, Go ahead, I, I, who did I? Was that you? Did I yeah, hit someone? I hit my guitar. I hit Joey's headstock with my headstock. And I, oh, with my head. Your head's done. And uh, I was bleeding, uh, like a whole, I still have the scar for song in. I still have the scar, and uh, I just bled the whole show. Tell the other one. Yeah, but no, but then after that, he was so, he played the whole show, but he was so woozy, and there was a staircase getting off the stage, he fell down the stairs. Yeah. Onto the opening band, onto, onto Deal Casino, right? Yeah, he <laughs> fell down the stairs. We were nervous for you. And then the other one with Alex, that's uh, even no. better, if you ask me. We were doing a show in Seattle, and for some reason, he was just so in it, he right was possessed. from the top, like possessed by rock, <laughs> um, that he jumped out. The spirit moved him. He jumped out into the crowd, like as if to, to, to stage dive, with no warning. Song one. The stage was as high as this couch, too, mind you. Like there was no jumping into people. And he, he jumped, not, and like he knocked them. over yeah. two two like they had to be six year old women. One well, it was a woman with her daughter. Yeah, the and daughter he, was a big fan. The mom was like, "What the hell am I doing here?" And now he knocked, knocked him down, and the whole show had to stop. Like the house lights came on, scuffling around. People in the audience like, "I'm a nurse!" Like the 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 flashlights and the eyeballs and the whole thing. Once again, first song in. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Glad, I don't I'm, know. Glad, <laughs> I'm glad that it's been enough time now that we can laugh about it because for a minute he was like, "I never want to talk He's about that." He's not laughing. <laughs> He's laughing. He's smiling. <laughs> anyway. Nine Inch Nails, Queens of the Stone Age. Those are bands I, I we would personally like. I was like. gonna say Red Rocks too, just because everybody Red says it. Cool. Madison Square Garden. What about Wembley? Be cool. like Wembley. Yeah. Wembley. Yeah. That'd be cool. The O2 know. Arena. Leeds. Earl's Court. Mm. I like Led Zeppelin. No more. It's not a thing. Oh. oh. Sorry. O2 Arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 